in Illustrator, go to File, New, and create a document that's 10 inches by 10 inches. First, we're going to create a background, get the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that covers the entire document. We're going to color it blue. Go back to the rectangle tool and make a rectangle at the bottom of the document. So it's like a ground and we're going to color it green. Double click on the layer name and name it background and lock it. Create a new layer. Get the ellipse tool, draw a perfect circle by holding down the shift key, change the color. Get the selection tool and position the circle in the center, just touching the ground. Start moving the circle up, hold down the option key to duplicate it and hold down the shift key so it moves straight up and not side to side. Go to the object transform again or you can use command D and do that four times. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six copies. Get the scale tool and click at the bottom edge of the bottom circle to establish the axis of scaling. Move the cursor up above the circle, hold down the shift key and drag straight down. While you're doing that, Hold down the option key as well to make a duplicate. Go to the object, choose transform again. Click on the expand layer arrow in the layers palette on layer two. This shows all the ellipses that we created. Click on the create new layer button in the layers palette. We're going to need a separate layer for each ellipse. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ellipses. We already have one, so we need to create seven more layers. Select each ellipse in layer two and drag it to its own layer. Go to File, Export, Export As, in the Format, choose Photoshop, click Export. Make sure the resolution at is screen 72 PPI and in the options, right layers is selected. Click OK launch Photoshop. In Photoshop, go to File, Open, find the file that you exported from Illustrator and open it. Go to Window and open Layers and timeline in the timeline select create frame animation not video timeline create frame animation that creates your first frame which shows all of the layers click on duplicate selected frames So you have as many frames as you have circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Select the first frame. Option click on the visibility icon of the background layer to make only the background layer visible and select layer two as well. In the next frame, turn off layer two and turn on layer nine. In the third frame, turn off layer two and turn on layer eight. In the next frame, turn off layer two and turn on layer seven, and so on.
press play to test. Select frame seven in the timeline. Hold down the option key and drag it to the end. Select frame six, hold down the option key and drag it to the end. Select frame five, hold down the option key and drag it. Same with layer four, three, and two. Press play to test animation. If you want to slow the animation down, select all of the frames by clicking on the first one, holding down the shift and clicking on the last one. At the bottom of the frame, click on select frame delay time and choose the delay time. Press play to test animation. To save the animation as a GIF, go to File, Export, Save for Web, Legacy. Make sure GIF is selected. And make sure Forever is selected. Click Save. Choose the folder where you want to save it to. Click Save. Open a browser. Go to File, Open File, and open the GIF animation. 